Hello everybody, getting ready to do lesson 5.4 tune-up to uh, introduce it to students of SAT Math Level 1. So we got 44 points here. We had 44 points in our skill sheet for the, uh, the lesson. For the tune-up, we got 40 points here possible for 5.4 tune-up. Number one, question number one, what are the solutions to this uh, uh, situation here um, these are your selections here for that is for you to use various methods to find your solution to this quadratic because it's a second degree uh, expression number two of the solutions to 2x squared minus 6x minus 5 equals 0 are p and q with p being greater than q what is the value of p minus q so now we have a situation here. We have P minus Q. What is the value of that? Number three of the solutions to the equations above are R and S with R being greater than S. What is the value of R minus S? So uh, again, you have to solve this and it becomes a quadratic and then you solve for uh, R and S. Number four. If the equation uh, y equals 3x squared plus 18x minus 13 is written in the form of like this, with uh, you're factoring out a number from the rest of the this expression plus a k, what are the values of h and k, which is actually the vertex form of a quadratic? So you have to factor this, factor this down to find that. Number five. If the above equation is written in a form uh, like this here, ax minus h plus y minus k squared plus equals r squared, what is the value of r in this situation here? So that's a good question. And then number six, here you have the situation here. If the solutions of the equation above in the simplest radical form are x equals a plus or minus square root of b, what are the values of a and b up here? Number seven, which quadratic equation has uh, 2 plus 3i and 2 minus 3y as its solutions here? And then number eight, the equation here will have the imaginary roots of, and that's for you to factor down and find out. And then we have this problem here, r1, r2, goes to RT. And then number nine, if electrical circuits are hooked up in parallel, blah, 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 you go back into a kind of a, um, a situation here, which expression represents the number of ohms in R1? In a certain circuit, R2 exceeds the resistance of R1 by two ohms, and a total resistance RT is 1.5 ohms, which expression represents the number of ohms in R1? So that's a good, good little question there. Number 10, the amount of water in a certain bathtub as it drains. This is a bathtub draining problem. So <clears throat> you have here L is represented by this here which is a parabola. And since the plug was pulled, which expression represents the number of minutes it takes for the half of the water that was in the bathtub before the plug was pulled to drain? So have fun with that one. And that's 5.4 tune-up. Uh, questions, tutoring, uh, solution, uh, PowerPoints can be obtained here. Email me here for those. Thank you very much.